Independence Day yesterday. Uh, how did it go for you last night, Guillermo? It went great, fantastic, Jimmy. Did you do what you had to do? Always, Jimmy, yes. Mission accomplished? Yes, Jimmy. Just... Did you say thank you at the end? Yeah, always. You do. <laughs> we had, a, my wife and I started the morning uh, by having an argument about uh, whether you put lotion on before or after the shower. I was in the bathroom, and Guillermo, you know this, but these people don't know this. I don't, um, I rarely moisturize. I'm not a lotion guy. And yes, if I get a jar of cocoa butter from DJ Khaled, I'll use it, but otherwise I go, I'm a no lotion type of individual. But my skin was a little dry this morning, so I call out to them in front of the mirror, I call out to the bedroom, I said, Molly, do you put lotion on before or after the shower? And she laughed. <laughs> And then there was a long pause, and she said, that was a joke, right? <laughs> and I go, yeah. And then she storms into the bathroom. She goes, oh my God, are you serious? You don't know to put the lotion on after the shower? <laughs> and I said, I, it seems like it makes more sense to put it on before so it really gets in there, because if you're wet, you know, it kind of sloshes all, it slides off. <laughs> and now she's mad. She's like at 100% mad, she says, if you put it on before the shower, it washes off. And I said, I don't know, when my skin is dry, I think it might soak it up more. And that turned into, are you seriously telling me how to put lotion on? And I said, no, I'm just trying to figure out the best method, the best way to do this. Well, I looked it up, and according to the internet, according to my chatbot AI, um, <laughs> turns out the best time to do it is after the shower. It's after the shower. While you are, but, while you are damp, but not wet. Okay, so there was something to my... So then who was right, Guillermo, about this? Your wife, Jimmy. Ladies, always right. <laughs> oh, okay. well, I feel like I was a rock, literally. <laughs> Speaking of looking things up, Microsoft, I don't know if you heard this, announced that they have officially disabled Internet Explorer. You know that web browser we all used to have? It's gone now. It's like, inter... it's history. And good luck explaining this to your mother. Um... <laughs> Explore, it will be replaced from now on by a browser called Edge, which Microsoft claims will give you the smoothest shave yet. And let's <laughs> say I use a Mac, but I have fond memories of Internet Explorer. I got my first computer. It was a really good run, and it's been out there since 1995. And so tonight, we thought it fitting to pay tribute with a trip down computer memory lane. When one door closes, uh, another uh, window pops up. But... Speaking of um, speaking of virus-riddled relics from 1995, Donald Trump, um, <laughs> according to Rolling Stone magazine, if elected again, Trump wants to. He's been floating the idea of bringing back firing squads, and uh, not just firing squads, uh, death by hanging and the guillotine. <laughs> Is he running for president or sheriff of Nottingham? I don't know. <laughs> what kind of a brain does this man have that this is what... He doesn't want to be president. He wants... This guy, he wants to host a game show where he drops people through a trap door filled with crocodiles at the bottom. He wants to host Squid Game. That's what he wants. You know, Trump uh, used to be a firing squad. You're fired. 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 You're both fired. You're 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 fired. Gary, you're fired. Dennis, you're fired. And now he'd like to bring that back. He believes by putting this on TV, uh, it would help put the fear of God into violent criminals. That's right. The guy who thought Rihanna's halftime show was not appropriate for television, wants to chop human heads off after a new episode of Young Sheldon on CBS. <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Although I will say, in his defense, a spokesman for Trump denied this story, saying it's just more ridiculous and fake news from idiots who have no idea what they're talking about. And then he said, trust me, I work for this guy. I know idiots who have no idea what they're talking about, okay? <laughs> what an animal. And also, if Trump executes all the criminals, who's going to send him a Father's Day card? Oh, friends of Ivanka? Oh. 
The prodigal son, Don Jr., has uh, been hard at work lashing out at Biden's press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, for saying the word Canada instead of Canada. She had a slip up. Of course, he did this the day before his father typed out the word momentous instead of mementos, but that sort of thing doesn't stop DJ TJ for a second. We did right. it in, in, uh, in uh, clearly in, 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 in step with uh, right. Canada. Clearly, we're in step with Canada. This is what happens when your only qualification is that, that you were a foreign born lesbian who happens to be African American. And that was the hiring process, it seems, for this individual. That's not racist. They basically said it. We're being led by imbeciles. These are the people that are going to get calls when there is an actual alien vision, which who the hell knows? Maybe this is it. <laughs> What's going on with his arms, by the way? It's like, like they're made out of those inflatable car wash guys, you know? It's really out of control. Remember, guys, if it is an alien vision, you know who I want to charge? Joe Biden. We're all screwed, guys. Take me to your dealer. You know, in the hope of... In the hope of avoiding another Don Jr., researchers have announced a major breakthrough in the field of male contraception. Men will soon be able to take a pill that will stop sperm from swimming for an hour. Remember your mom would tell you you can't swim for an hour after you eat? It'd be like that, but with young, much, much younger children. They tested, they tested the drug in mice, and after ingesting it, none of the mice got any women pregnant, so that's good. <laughs> They say their ultimate plan is to crush the pills up, put them into a tranquilizer dart, and hide in a tree outside Nick Cannon's house. So, <laughs> another, um, another doozy of a scandal involving uh, tr Congressman George Santos, if that is his real name, has come to light. The latest is five years ago, Santos was charged in Pennsylvania with stealing puppies from multiple breeders, including an Amish uh, farmer who bred these golden retrievers. He walked away, allegedly, from the farmer with four golden retrievers. Stealing puppies from the Amish, I mean, this could be the crime of the century. It's <laughs> the 18th century, but the crime of the century. <laughs> the story says Santos paid for the puppies with checks that bounced, and then beat the charges by claiming somebody stole his checkbook. He's creative, you have to give him that. Trump just goes around like, I won the election, my crowd was the biggest. Santos is like, I invented silly putty with my feet. <laughs> How does he keep topping himself? We're only 10 weeks into this, we never heard of this guy before that. Already he's accused of Amish puppy stealing and he claims he produced the Spider-Man musical. <laughs> CNN actually caught up with the specific Amish breeder who um, supposedly got duped. These are nine checks from November 2017. The name on each of them, George Santos. The checks to buy puppies obtained by CNN were written to Fred and other Amish dog breeders. They totaled more than $15,000. He seemed uncomfortable and nervous and fidgety. And I told him I, I don't take checks, all I can take is cash. Well, he said, would you expect me to carry enough of cash to buy a bunch of puppies on a trip like this? I do not have cash. The only thing I can give you is a check. The check balance. The check balance, right. Oh, he really churned that guy's butter, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I guess the Amish can't Venmo, so it's a real conundrum. And, and by the way, it only got stranger from there. He told me he was producing the new Air Bud movie, Wimble Dog. The dogs play tennis now, I guess. Anyway, fella said he was gonna make my dogs big Hollywood stars, but he didn't have time to go to the ATM because a person named Steven Spielberg needed dogs right away, so he wrote a check. The check bounced. Like mother's thick booty, it bounced. <laughs> By the way, what's the movie? So there you go, George Santos is now number two on the Amish enemy list, just below electricity. And the big question is, what did he do with the puppies? I mean, you, this many, I mean, is this what his sweater vests are made out of? <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a joke, guys. <laughs> The other big mystery is what's up with all these UFOs? You know, the Senate yesterday uh, got a briefing from the military on the three UAPs, which is short for Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, that we shot down over the weekend. According to Axios, the military didn't classify what the objects were, but they don't think they were aliens or Chinese spy balloons. Best guess right now is that there are some overly aggressive REMAX agents on the loose. <laughs>
But it is kind of, I don't know, it's cute that we brief senators on this story, as if if the, we found out the aliens were invading, Joe Manchin would know what to do. <laughs> Maybe we throw a bucket of water at them, they'll melt. That's a witch, Joe. That's the Wizard of Oz, okay? <laughs> China is sticking to their claim that the first one we shot down was a weather balloon that got blown 12,000 miles off, off course, which may, I don't know, how off course can you get? You missed by an ocean, if that's the case. <laughs> and now China's mad at us for popping their balloon, like a four-year-old or something. <laughs> Needless to say, all this UFO talk has the tinfoil hatters going wild, including Green Bay whack packer Aaron Rodgers, who offered this hot take on the Pat McAfee show. I I believe that this has been going on for a long time. Interesting uh, timing on everything. There's a lot of other things going on in the world. Did you hear about the Epstein client list uh, about to be released, too? What's that? What are you talking about? There's some files that have, have some names on it that might be uh, getting released pretty soon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Might be time to revisit that concussion protocol, Aaron. That's, you know, the White House is, is uh, reportedly debating right now whether the president should go on TV to address this UFO situation. That seems like a bad idea. I'm going to put this to rest for you, OK, in case you're nervous. Here's what happened. You want to know what's going on? OK. We spotted a Chinese spy balloon. We shot it down. And then because of that, we started, suddenly started looking up at all the rest of the crap in the sky. You know, people let things go all the time, the kites, uh, drones, stomp rockets, parakeets, you name it. And now, because of that balloon, they're finally paying attention to this stuff. The, airports, the Air Force probably spent $2 million this weekend shooting down a Mylar Dora the Explorer balloon <laughs> that escaped from the parking lot of a Chuck E. Cheese or something. That's it. That's what's happening. Crisis averted. There are no aliens. Everybody go back to their phones. Get back into Wordle while you're at it, right? <laughs> Everyone is dumb. And we wanted to have some fun with that. So we went outside our studio. And we asked pedestrians today if they saw the Hollywood UFO. We told them there was a UFO sighting, and we asked if they saw it. And sure enough, many of them did in tonight's Lying Saucer edition of Lie Witness News. We're talking to people about the Hollywood Boulevard UFO. What was your reaction? I was really confused. I mean, I looked up, and I just saw this thing, and then everyone started screaming. And I wasn't really expecting it. Like, I was just walking down, and I was thinking, I was looking at the stars, and I looked up and it was just this massive thing in the sky and it was insane. So, but I wasn't expecting it. Coming from London, I really wasn't expecting to see this. So I'm just a little bit confused. I'm looking on social media, you know, seeing what's going on, texting my friends at home, even though it's like midnight at home. So yeah, letting them know. Do you think a British accent makes somebody sound smarter? No. <laughs> Do us a favor, for people who may not have seen it, describe what the UFO looked like. It was a bright light traveling faster than it really should. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, gone, disappeared. Where were you when you saw it? I was, I was sitting, um, I'm, I'm out by the airport. So people have been texting you about the UFO? Yep. Can we hear some of those texts? Yeah, so some people have been saying, I've got this one from my, I've got this one from my best friend, and she woke up in the middle of the night to say, are you okay, I've just seen it on the news. And I was like, and I was actually in the Disney store at the time, and I didn't like realize, and I came back out, and that's when I saw it. So it was really, really weird. And then my mum started freaking out. So family group chat, WhatsApp, mum freaking out constantly, like text me, text me, text me. And I'm like, why are you not asleep? It's like four in the morning. Could you show that to the camera? <laughs> no. Tell us what you do. Uh, I work at the coffee shop, the Coffee Bean, on the corner of Hollywood and Orange. And have any customers been coming in talking about the UFO today? Yes, there was one. Uh, they seemed pretty shaken up, pretty scared about it. Uh, they didn't say too much, but uh, they visibly seemed a little uh, affected. And what they order? Uh, they ordered a... I'm not sure. I, I take a lot of orders in a day. I can't remember. Just make something up. OK. Uh, they got a, a mocha frappe with uh, cookie bits and whipped cream. We're talking about the UFO over Hollywood Boulevard this morning. Do you come in peace? To the right people, yes. To the wrong people, no. All right, have a great trip home. Thank you.